going to take a look at a new feature uh, in Level Maker for, uh, for creating flat surfaces. Uh, we're going to be working with this um, uh, sci fi little kit from uh, River Mill Studios. We purchased this to um, use in a, an upcoming PlayStation 4 game. Now, in this, uh, in this scene, we're using uh, Pro Grids, and this is, you know, without Level Maker, this is kind of how you would, uh, you know, set up a, a wall or, or uh, some other thing. This is about the easiest way to do it that I, I can that I know of inside the Unity editor. So we basically are just dropping them, dropping pieces into the scene and then uh, using ProGrids to snap them. Now we had to go in and initially set up ProGrids snapping to be uh, 20 meters, which is the default size and width of these pieces. So uh, just kind of creating a basic uh, wall. Kind of looks like something out of Star Wars, which is kind of neat. All right, so here we've made a quick uh, little section of wall and then you could copy and duplicate these and move around to create a larger wall. But now what I'll show is how to do this um, with Level Maker. Delete these pieces. And then we'll come in here, go into the Create tab. Oh, create the center level first. Go to the Create tab and then go into Flat Surfaces. And what we'll do is we'll pick our starting piece, spawn that in. Now if we want, we can just sit here and click in the uh, click and drag pieces, but and that's fairly easy. But as you notice, they're all, all the same, you know, all the same piece. So what we want to do is something a little more, you have a little more variety to it. So we'll start here, we'll go down into our flat surfaces section and we'll say an eight by eight. And then we can choose random random pieces and we can actually specify which pieces we want to include. And we'll just basically include them all. So now we have a random list. It's got all, all eight pieces, and we just click Create. And there we go. We have a random wall segment. Now, the interesting thing is we can come in here and click on this piece and do, we could say, a two by two, and we could do another one. But this time, we'll, uh, we'll choose not to use a random piece, and we'll pick, a, uh, we'll pick piece A. We'll do two by two, which will... Let's see, we'll start here, which we'll start with this piece, in which we'll go two over and two up. So we can create a section there. And we can kind of kind of keep doing that. Now, the, uh, the interesting thing is uh, width and depth can be negative. So if we go, let's see, width is the x direction, depth is the z. So let's go in the negative z direction. Let's say negative five. And this time, so it goes in the opposite way. So with these, you can come into any piece in a scene. If we wanted to go down, this would be a negative width to come down, and negative. So you can see. So you can basically come in and pick any piece and basically create, um, you know, create a floor, wall, or, or whatever section off of it. But this is good for creating basically flat sections, walls. Uh, I'm sorry, not really walls so much as floors, ceilings. Um, and this is going to be part of kind of a big sci-fi level. So. Anyway, that's Level Maker's new flat surface feature.